Then you're down and out in spreadsheet hell. Get your fix on Twitter at Mr. Excel. Learn Excel for Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2344. Improving that conversion to Wolfram Alpha data types. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today, a few tips on how to improve converting to data types. Let's get started. All right, so in regular Excel, stocks and geography have been there for a long time. They're actually a very mature feature. This is kind of the second rev of those. And here's something awesome that they've improved on the Excel team. They've improved on this tremendously. If I just type in Madison, I try and convert that to geography. They're going to come over here and say, which one do you want? Do you want the one in Wisconsin, New York, Illinois, um, Alabama? But they got smarter in, in version two of this. If I surround Madison by other cities in Wisconsin and I ask for geography, then they're going to figure it out perfectly, right? They know that I mean the Madison in Wisconsin. And here, Madison, a tiny little city in Florida, if I surround that with cities in Florida and ask for geography, they are going to automatically get Florida. How did this appear? I put that in in advance with an if error so it, it shows up. Uh, but here's the hassle. Wolfram Alpha. This is like brand new for Wolfram Alpha. And they aren't smart enough to look at the surrounding cells. So when I come out here and say that I want to put this as a location, it takes longer, doesn't it? All right. They only got two of them, West Palm Beach and Daytona Beach. For Miami, they don't know if I mean Miami, Florida, Miami, Oklahoma, Miami, Arizona. I mean, it's not that Miami is the largest one. It was surrounded by other cities in Florida. So I choose select Orlando, Florida, or Oklahoma, Florida, and then Madison. I want the one in Florida, in Florida, Madison, Wisconsin, Madison, Alabama, Madison, Mississippi. I actually have to come up here and type Madison, comma, Florida in the search box. And then they get the Madison that I meant for them to get. All right. Now, does that mean that Wolfram Alpha is worse at this? Well, they're new at this. All right. But let's check uh, what each feature knows. So here's Madison with the map icon, this geography, the one that's been around forever. Uh, very nice. They'll give us the image of Madison. Uh, tell us it's in Florida. Uh, the, it's in Madison County. The area, it's the United States. Latitude. Um, the learn more, I don't understand why they're returning a link that doesn't work. I don't get that. Uh, the longitude, name, population, and time zone. All right, so that's everything they know about Madison, Florida, or even Madison, Wisconsin. All right, different image, all right? That's all great. But check out Wolfram Alpha. Oh my gosh, they know so much more. First, they don't have a picture of the city. Uh, but they tell us it's in Wisconsin, the aggregate household income, the area, population, uh, the country they're in, the elevation. And by the way, that's in meters. How many fe females live there? The number of households, uh, the household income breakout, a little map that you can put in, uh, locations. So they show Wisconsin and where in Wisconsin. Um, the male population, median household income, the name, uh, famous people that are from there. Look at that, Chris Farley. All right. And then population by age, population by educational attainment, all kinds of extra stuff that you get from Wolf. Also, hey, quick uh, note here. This is the old geography data type. Uh, in this new version, the one that you can get on Office 365 Home, they've also improved the card and that I can now look up Wisconsin, right? So that new feature where you can drill down right in the card, uh, that improvement is there, although it's not there in the enterprise editions of Excel yet. All right, so kudos to Wolfram Alpha. They have a lot more information. Uh, that seems to be a great thing. Now, the reason this whole thing came up was a couple of days ago, I asked a lot of my friends, hey, tell me your five favorite musical acts. And I had a little video where I predicted everyone's age. Uh, and it sort of worked. There were a couple that were wrong, but it came out well. But I had said I was surprised how hard it was to get this data in. It took me hours to get this spreadsheet to work because here is what it looked like originally. There were several items that it could not figure out, right? A lot of these came through as musical acts, but meatloaf came through as a person and not the musical act. And when I went here and I said that I wanted to change it, so data type change, 
they would offer me the person and the food, but not the music act. Very frustrating. It's like, how can they not have meatloaf and not have the who and not have queen? I was like, what the heck is going on? All right, so I've shortened this down, and we're going to take a look at these, these problems one at a time. First off, uh, Oz de Soleil, Excel on Fire, came up with a couple of acts that aren't from the U.S., uh, Brazilian acts, and it just simply doesn't know those. Gal Costa, it knows as a person, um, and even knows that that person is a singer. But when I go to Notable Achievements, doesn't list any of the songs, just lists uh, film appearance. Um, so some of them, it just simply doesn't know. John Prine, this is super annoying. John Prine, it says, is a music work, not a person. Um, this was performed by a group called Low. So I came here and said, data type, change. And when I search for John Prine, they offer me John Prine the person or this song about John Prine. And when I choose John Prine, the person, and I come in here, um, they still don't give me a list of his songs. All right, so really weird. John Prine, Queen, and The Who, and Jimmy Puffett, uh, they don't seem to know. I'm like, how can it be that they don't know these? All right, and so I came out and I typed Paradise by the Dashboard Light, a meatloaf song, and they recognized that. And then I said, all right, well, tell me the artist who sang that. And they gave me Meatloaf, the music act, not Meatloaf, the person. And check this out. I'm actually able to take this control C and then come down here to this cell. And I'm going to paste special values. So home, paste, paste as values. And it doesn't paste as values. It brings the data type. But now it brings them as a musical act. And I'm like, this is insane that I have to do this for each person. So... Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. So able to get Queen, copy, control C, come down here and paste special as values. Click OK. Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefer Band. I was eventually able to get them. But <sighs> frustrating to go through all of that, uh, all of those, all of those hassles. Here is the faster way. If I would have added maybe concat or join text and would have asked for meatloaf music act the who music act jimmy buffett music act queen music act and then data automatic just seems like it takes a long time then for all of those i get the correct item i get the musical act so entity type music act in all the cases, all right? So that would have helped with those four. Uh, but these five, uh, either they're too obscure, sorry, Mike Gervin, sorry, Oz, uh, sorry, my sister, Barb. Uh, you like them as one of your top five, but for whatever reason, uh, Wolfram Alpha doesn't consider them worthy. Uh, John Prine might be singer-songwriters. I tried Arlo Guthrie as a substitute, uh, same kind of thing. Also, here's another one, Bruce Springsteen. Big example in my first in my first example, and I remember uh, the first time I did this, I clicked and I said Bruce Springsteen a person, nope, and then the E Street Band or just Bruce Springsteen. So here I'm going to choose Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, and then over here I'm going to choose Bruce Springsteen Music Act. And the big difference will be when we ask for equal a two dot works, and then here, I'll we'll just copy that over. And then ask for the count, count A. There were 531 songs by Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, but if I just do, but if I just do Bruce Springsteen, then I get 1019, all right? So that's one where um, I guess because I chose wrong in the, uh, in the data selector, uh, get very different answers. All right. So the point of all this, I guess, be careful. The stocks and geography are smart enough to look at the other cells. Hopefully at some point, Wolfram Alpha will be smart enough to look at the surrounding cells. 
uh, might lead to much better results. All right. And then adding what you're looking for, the entity type, uh, seems to improve the uh, performance a lot. All right, so try that. And then just be careful, uh, depending on whether you're getting the artist or the artist in their band. Uh, you might have songs that are in one or not the other. It was light when we started this. Let's call it a day. Please, down below the video, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the comments below. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Tips and tricks get your spreadsheet fixed at MrExcel.com